The Drill Curl, a physics-defying hairstyle that's been aggravating cosplayers for years. Even when we did figure out how to do it, the process was difficult, time-consuming, and just plain annoying. So for my Kasane Teto wig, I abandoned the old way and created a new process so easy I was able to complete one curl in just an hour. Here's how I did it. From what I have seen, drill curls are one of the most annoying, if not the most annoying and frustrating processes that you could ever put yourself through. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that I know is going to work, and that being the base. I am doing the same base that I just did for my Freerin wig, which is a Foss shape base. So Foss shape is a fabric thermoplastic. It looks and feels like felt, but you can sew it up. You can sew things onto it. And then when you heat it up, it gets really stiff and sturdy, which I really like for my pigtail wigs because it means I can store them without a wig head in them and I can travel with them with no wig head. Uh, now I need to heat shape this thing so it forms my nice sturdy base, which I'm just gonna do with my steamer again. This stuff shrinks a little bit and this wig head is like slightly smaller than my actual head, especially when my hair is taken into account. So I've significantly padded my wig head to make this a little bit bigger than my head just so it doesn't give me a headache. Now I have to present to you my drill curl experiments. It was awful, doesn't it? <laughs> but, I mean, in the right light, <laughs> you can kind of see where I'm going. So first of all, we ought to talk about how drill curls have been made for years and years and years. So the classic cosplay technique of making a drill curl has always been to take two lengths of wire and sandwiching them in between packing tape. And then you form the drill curl with the wire and the packing tape. And then you painstakingly glue the fiber onto the packing tape while it's in a spiral. And you have to do that to both sides of it. So getting the inside to look right while you're trying to fuss around in a drill curl has never sounded fun to me. And I want to do it differently. I want to innovate. Instead of using regular wire, I am using this. This is hanger wire. It's galvanized hanger strap. And once I found out about this stuff, it has been so useful for so many different cosplay things. And it is what is inside of this. But for this, I then just kind of lazily glued hair over it. And oh, look, spoiler, we're probably gonna do a pigtail shield for these two. And because it's got the hanger wire inside of it, I already know that the way it's going to attach to the base is just with bolts. So. I'm gonna make little supports that go inside the wig base. But yeah, I'm just gonna hand sew and probably also hot glue this in there. But the hot gluing is actually really cool because of this really cool glue gun that I have from today's sponsor, Shurbonder. They just now sent me this little tiny one that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It comes with this cool little base that you put it on, which has this like silicone thing right under the tip. And so when your glue gun leaks a little bit of glue, the silicone catches that so you don't make any mess anywhere. But here's the really cool thing. The gun is plugged into that base, right? But the base is powering the glue gun and like charging it. And so then you can take it off the base and use it completely cordless. Yeah, the, the heat will then dissipate eventually. So you can only use it for like a couple minutes, I think, before you have to put it back on the base. But when you're gluing stuff, you kind of have to do that anyway, right? You have to put the glue gun down, but you can also plug the cord that goes into the base into the glue gun to get that heat all the time. So it's really cool, really versatile. And I love that it's the, the mini one because it means you can get into little places like in the middle of a Foss shape wig base. They make like the best and most like luxurious glue guns of anybody. And they love the cosplay community. They're always sponsoring cosplay events. I didn't even talk about the glue sticks. They make black glue. They make black hot glue. You can buy black. Anyway, I have linked my new glue gun and all of these other cool products in the description down below. So if you want to upgrade your hot glue arsenal, check that out. Maybe I should go ahead and do the pigtail. I forgot to put the cotton batting on here. 
Well, guess I'm using hot glue. The cotton batting, by the way, is just for the pigtail part in the back. And it's just a couple layers of cotton batting hand sewn together. And I'm gluing it onto the Foss shape on just the outside edge and not the edge going into the pigtail part. But that should be it for the base. So now I'll show you the other thing that will be the structure of the drill curls. Okay, so I know I want like the bones of this thing to be the hanger wire, but what I cover the hanger wire with, I'm not entirely sure of yet. I did this one in felt, but I really don't feel like ordering more felt and having to wait for it. So I went to Joann's to get something and they don't, why, I don't know why they don't sell just big pieces of felt. I picked up this stuff. This is Pelon Flex Foam. Tell me why I pulled this piece off of the thing and threw the rest of the way, but the piece I pulled off is in Spanish. It's thin furry foam, that's what it is. The only thing is it's white and I kind of need it to be red. So I'm gonna cut off a little piece of this and I'm gonna see if I can dye it with some Rit dye more. Here's my swatch. Hmm, maybe I should get the foam wet. Okay, let's see if that helps. Oh, that, that helped. I mean, it's not pretty, but it's not white anymore. And that's the only goal. Oh, that looks so weird. Aha, pasta, yummy. The most delicious dye pot you have ever seen. Okay, now I just gotta let my pasta dry. So when my pasta had dried, I realized that the outside fabric didn't dye as well as the foam. So I peeled the skin off the foam. But all I did was sew two of the pieces together. I trimmed up the seam allowance and I stuck in the hanger wire. But you might be wondering, why have you not shaped this into a drill curl yet? This is the plan for innovation. I'm gonna keep this thing flat so that it's easier for me to glue all the fiber on it. Once I get all of the fiber on it, I'm gonna immediately put on a tool tube, which will keep all of the hair in place. And then while the glue is still wet, then I'm gonna shape it into a drill curl. And I don't know if this will actually work, but we're gonna go for it. So I also went ahead and I prepared my wefts. So the actual wig fiber I bought for this, I got two packs of Arda Wigs' long wefts in apple red, and I also bought a Jareth in the same color to be the base wig. So I took my long wefts, I cut them into sections, and then I took each section and turned them into glued wefts because glued wefts are a little bit easier to hide. And all that involves is mushing glue into the top section of the weft until you get a little glued weft. And then you just cut the ugly part off. So now I have a bunch of stuff ready to go. And so part of the plan is to put the dual tube over this thing, but because it's like, tapered. I can't pull the small part of the tube over the big part of the tube. So I need to lay this hair going backwards so that the tube can be pulled up from the bottom without messing up the hair. And I'm going to do the inside of the curl first because it will give me room to mess up. So I've got two wefts that should cover this whole thing. And this one is going to get layered on top of this one. So we're starting with the topmost one. And for glue, I am going to use a combination of hot glue and tacky glue. The hot glue I'm gonna use to initially place the top of the weft, and then the rest of the hair is gonna be the tacky glue. I need it to be the tacky glue because tacky glue takes forever to dry. So you're up, bud. We're gonna hot glue this weft onto this. And now I wanna pick up the whole weft and get it out of the way so that I can cover this whole part in tacky glue which I'm gonna do with my palette knives because it's so much easier than squeezing glue out of the bottle. And so by now that hot glue should be dry. So I should be able to brush through this hair one more time. Oop, it already got in the glue, but that's fine. I'm gonna carefully place it into the glue. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of hairspray. I'm gonna blow dry the hairspray. And I'm going to press the whole thing into the glue, which works well because this side is totally secure with that hot glue in it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did also crimp these wigs, which I did on stream for my patrons. I only crimped the underside of them though, because I was trying to make it, you know, maybe a little bit of clean hair. All right, that one is in. It might not look perfect, 
but it's it's in there. The other thing is at the bottom here, I'm gonna be adding extra hair later to form the very bottom of the drill curl. So I'm actually gonna start this weft right here and we're gonna leave that alone because we're gonna cover it later. Get this puppy hot glued in, get the hair out of the way. Get the tacky glue on the foam. All right, let's lay this thing down. Let me comb it one more time. The things we do for cosplay. Hey, hey, there we go. Gotta get it pressed. Let's get it pressed into the glue. Hairspray. Do some hair dryer. And that, that's the first side. So. Now I gotta flip the whole thing over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Hot glue down the weft, tacky glue the whole thing together, hairspray, hair dryer, and then we can get to trying to pull some tool over this whole thing. All right, both sides are glued on. The underside might have stuck to the table a little bit and gotten a little messed up, but this is the moment of truth. I've got my tool tube. This is literally just two pieces of tool that I cut from the same pattern that I cut the foam out of. It's sewn on both sides. We've got one side that's tiny, one side that's bigger. We're gonna take the bigger side. We're gonna say a little prayer. Please cosplay gods, please let this work. I am now going to attempt to feed the entire drill curl into this tool tube. And we're gonna hope that it looks okay. What is that getting stuck on? There we go, there we go. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Does not like this part where these wets are just sticking out. So I guess I'm doing this like pantyhose style. Ooh, it's working, it's working. We just gotta get it on there. Try not to get it twisted. So it would be bad. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, the bottom. The bottom got messed up again, that's fine. Will it fit is the question. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. <sighs> We're not out of the woods yet. Okay, we need to shape this into a drill curl. Left side has the ribbon, right side does not. This is the right side. This is my left, that's your left, This that's my right. This is my right. You're gonna die. I just need to start bending the hanger wire into a drill curl shape. Some of the glue is, uh, some of the glue is, is peeping out, but that's okay. Just gonna keep bending until, until it looks like a drill. Hmm? Well, my dear friends, I think I might have reinvented the drill curl. You know, is it is it perfectly perfect? Is there is there some some glue hanging out in places where it shouldn't be? Yeah, I'm gonna go through with some some uh, water and a wet finger, smooth out the glue that is like bulged out of there. But I did this in less than an hour. Now the thing is, the inside the inside does get a little weird and wavy, but it's on the inside, so I don't think it matters. And this is so much easier than any drill curl tutorial I have ever seen. So I am gonna do this again to the second drill curl, which that one has the ribbon. So I'll have to figure out how to get that in there. Originally, I thought I was gonna be able to like weave the ribbon in and out of the hair, but then I realized it needs to be on top of the tool because you totally see the tool on top of the white fabric. So the ribbon got glued on with the Sherbonder fabric sticks, but now that I have two drill curls, I still have to do the entire base wig. So now I have to show you all of the awful things that I did to this Foss shape base. <laughs> It looks really weird now uh, because Foss shape is white and Teto's hair is red. This is covered in just acrylic paint. Could I have just dyed the cotton batting? Yeah, probably, but I didn't think about that. It just looks wild. Obviously also I have gone through and already glued some hair down into here. I've actually already done a bunch of stuff to prep for this. So this hair on the side is just to cover the sides of the Foss shape. And this hair at the back is to be like the hair down at the nape of the neck. So now it's time for the pigtail part hair. So I took the Jareth that I bought, I cut it up into a bunch of pieces, and then I went ahead and pre-shaped them so that they're like, going that way instead of just straight. So now these are ready to get glued in under the cotton batting so that I can get glue on the actual cotton batting and lay the fiber out going towards my pigtails. 
I really like this method with the cotton batting on the back because this is a really forgiving method because you still have the wefts on the fiber, which means you don't have to fight with loose fiber to make sure it stays where it is supposed to. And then I'm also gluing the end of the fiber near where those pigtails are going to start. And the base of the drill curls is pretty wide, so I've actually got a pretty big area where I can have a lot of glue. So I'm taking full advantage of that, and I'm putting a ton of glue here to keep everything in place. Generally, if you get the start of the weft and the end of the weft glued down pretty good, then the middle section with the glue doesn't matter as much, but you still want the glue in there just for safety. And then you also want the hairspray for the top layer of hair because that top layer's not getting a whole lot of glue on it. But it's a really forgiving system and this has become my favorite way to do pigtail parts. Though I can't seem to get them to be perfectly straight, but I think that's a me thing. But with the pigtail part in, I still got a couple other things I need to do to the base before I get to the bangs. The first thing is I'm taking some wefts that I took out of the Jerith and I'm gonna glue them onto the side to be the sideburns. And before I do the bangs, I have to conquer my very first ahoge. Apparently ahoge literally means idiot hair. It's the random little piece of hair in the middle of Tato's head. I've seen people do these a hundred different ways, but I'm gonna do it with a little piece of painted boss shape. And I'm going to cover it in little pieces of cut hair with the tacky glue which is probably going to be very annoying, but that's how I'm doing it. It's not that complicated. It's just very annoying, but with it ready, then I can do the bangs. So I went ahead and took like the entire front half of the Jareth and glued it onto the base. And now I gotta put it on my head to make sure the bangs look good. And of course, she has the stupid anime bangs where it's like in your face in the middle. I'm happy with this general shape. I want to do this so badly. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> and so now I just got to do a bunch of trimming and shaping it with the steamer and the blow dryer and hairspray. I think I'll probably use a little bit of glue to keep the sections of the bangs away from each other because the most annoying thing to me is your bangs on your wig going places that you don't want them to and like getting mixed up about which part of the bangs is the other part of the bangs which is the biggest problem with the stupid middle anime bangs they are cute but i hate them they are so hard to get right and so hard to maintain. Anyway, uh, another thing though, is I'm going to be mainly using my thinning scissors, as well as whatever you call this thing. Uh, it's just like a razor, it's a razor blade. I guess it's a razor blade. I'm using a, the razor blade thing for hair cutting, but I'm using it because it cuts everything really feathered and it is very easy to very quickly cut your bangs way too blunt and that never looks good, but I'm gonna do my best. Well, it's still got a bunch of clips in it and the glue is still wet, but I think this is pretty cute. So I guess it's time to finally assemble everything. So I am gonna just hot glue the ahoge in, and then I just gotta run the bolts through my drill curls and my Kasane Teto wig will be done. And isn't she the bounciest wig you've ever seen? I gotta say, I'm very proud with this being my first time doing drill curls. Specifically, I'm so happy that I did it in a way that didn't make me want to tear my hair out. I also understand that it is completely possible that someone else has already done this to do drill curls, but I've not seen it. So in my own delusional world, I have reinvented the drill curl, and because of it, I got to finally do one of my dream cosplays. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you should watch another one from me, because that's how you tell the YouTube robot now that you like the channel and you want other people to see it. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can check out my Patreon, where you'll get exclusive videos and exclusive live streams. But if you're just watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sending the video to a friend of your mom, or subscribing, please subscribe then you are supporting the channel too, so thank you. And a big thank you to my newest big support tier patrons. I have no mouth and I must nya, Fallerbound, Taya Tot, Taya, S31R4, Mario's Minion, Sylvie, Sugar Shuck, Hydnellum, Heroin by Cosplay, Pastel October, Lighthouse Cosplay, Chaotic Gabby,
Abby free breadsticks. A mom that lifts undead dear Alice, Danny Lee, Darling, Envy, Maxed Out, Sarah, and Ash. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wig, I am. Okay.